Hello guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you why you should be using an overclocking utility for your calculator. So I've got a CG50 right here. This is over at CULUI, which is the de facto uh, overclocking utility for this calculator. And I'm going to bring up a 3D graph and show you why you should really do this. Because the 3D graphing is like the big sell of this calculator. But uh, at 58 it's good, but like at 94, which I think is the big, the highest you can go, it's just blazing fast, especially considering the other TIs. I mean, I think it's even faster than the CXCAS calculators. Uh, don't me, don't at me on that. I could be wrong. TI does make some decent calculators, but uh, especially their their 84s are not uh, they're not phenomenal for their price. So I'm gonna go bring up a graph and show you guys how it functions. So anyway, I've got this uh, 3D graph up. It is a plane. It has a bunch of tries on it. And uh, as you can see, if I do uh, right to left, it's pretty fast. But it's not the fastest thing in the world. It could be way faster. Um, but now, as you can see, if I go and I go and turn up the clock speed to 94.3, now it's going to be way faster. You can see it's much faster now than it was when it was at uh, its regular 58. I mean, it was still fast even at 58 megahertz, but now that it's at 93, let's have that again. I'm not. I'm gonna rotate the other way. You can see that now that it's at, now that it, that it's at 94 megahertz, it's much, 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 much faster than it was. Um, and now I'm gonna actually show you the application in a game. The game I'm gonna be using is called Cube Field, and it is well renowned uh, in terms of the uh, Casio CG series calculators. It's a very well made game, and it's pretty fun too. It's mainly just a tech demo. Because, I mean, as you can see, it's not the most visually crazy game in the world, but it's still pretty good. So you can see, I'm getting pretty good frame rates when I'm playing this. Um, it's a little bit choppy when you get a bunch of the cubes in frame. But uh, other than that, it's really fluid, especially for a calculator. I mean, this is like, this, you could almost pretty much never achieve this on a cat or on a TI. Because of the aging Zilog processor that they use. Um, there's barely, but as you can see, oh. I accidentally held a key down for too long. Anyway, I'm going to show you this now at 94.3 megahertz. As you can see, it's running way faster. The uh, the horizon is tilting way better when I move. Everything's just a generally way better time. Um, as you can see, it's getting a little bit less choppy when multiple cubes are on screen. It's all around just a really good time. I might play this for hours, but... I died, so I guess I won't be doing that. So anyway, that is my full review of OverCLUI. I am not, I am 100% not recommending this to everyone because this is a bit unstable, it could hurt your calculator, and in very rare cases it's bricked calculators before. So I 100% don't recommend this for anyone. Uh, it's really only like a uh, use at your own risk. So if you break your calculator doing this, I'm sorry, I'm not going to pay for your calculator. These are too expensive. And I've got zero dollars in my bank account. I have absolutely no money because I don't do uh, monetization on my YouTube channel. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, that'll be it for this video, and I will see you guys later.